Hello, this is Ron with Heart Pickers uh, coming from Cape Cod. We're just showing you some of our recent sales in the past month or so. Um, did very well. We sold about $1,600 in the last month um, on eBay alone and six or 700 on Amazon. So it's been a great month for us. Um, just some of the things we sold was um, this vintage from 1989 Tyco 9.6 um, RC Twin Turbo Lamborghini um see we had the box um everything the charger the battery um it worked but it had some issues where underneath it was cracked um pretty nice car um we paid ten dollars for that and you see we sold that for 149 um see that on the bona fide hustlers on um, videos picking up the vintage cars um, we have a few other ones um, haven't put them on yet but we'll be getting on to that soon um, some other things we've sold um, Ralph Lauren Polo Bomber style jacket um, picked us up a while back um, for 25 we sold this for 215 um, forgot whose video I seen this in a while back but they did list um, writing leather um, jacket in Spanish so we did it too and um, it sold in a day or two we accepted this offer and um, guy's name was Victor Martinez I don't think he was the DH for Detroit but hey there you go but um, sold that um, vintage um, Blue Jays um, snapback from the World Series back to back 92-93 uh, we paid two dollars for that. Um, we sold that for fifty dollars and sent that back to Toronto. So always want to check on these um, vintage hats. A lot of these are worth a lot more than the ten, fifteen, twenty dollars people put them up for, and um, some of them are really worth some money. I've seen some sell for over a hundred or so or more. So um, if anybody have any questions on those, I can help you out with those. Um, you can shoot me a video or uh, shoot me a pictures or whatever and I can help you out with those um, another Ralph Lauren uh, wool jacket that we picked up for 15 we sold for 109 um, that was a pretty easy sale also um, same day we picked up this Brooks Brothers 100% um, camel hair um, jacket paid ten dollars on that one and um, you see we got 139 for it and there was a lot of watchers, a lot of views on this one, um, I think. Let's see. I had 155 views in a few days, so it sold fairly well. I mean, a few people contacted me after if I had any more. I mean, it was kind of crazy. But um, sold that. Another, we showed you video, I uh, picked this up a few weeks, uh, a few days ago. We always put these on, find them for 2 to $4, always sealed. Um, only sell new ones, and we always sell them for right around $29. I mean, easy money. And they usually sell within a day of listing them, if you list them in that price range. Um, there are a few more that are worth a little bit more, but that's what that one went for. Um... A markers vintage ski suit um, I paid five bucks for this I believe it was in very good condition um, I kind of got carried away with another ski jacket the same day and wasn't 100% sure with that mustard and dark rust brown but um, we got 39 for it fairly quickly so I might have could have got a little more but hey making money um, then we picked up this um, brown uh, shilling, um, shelling, however you want to pronounce that, lamb, um, and leather, um, jacket, bomber style, um, I actually picked this off a of Craigslist for $50, and, um, flipped it and sold it for $209, so, that was pretty bad, I mean, pretty good, um, you can, you know, find things, doesn't always have to be yard sales, estate sales, um, thrift stores, garage sales, I say that twice? Eh, whatever. But um, you could always find, use Craigslist too and, um, you know, find things that way. 
Um, Foldar's first mug ever, Starbucks San Diego mug. I think we paid a dollar for this. We sold it for 13 so I might pick up more mugs. I might not. took a little while to sell that. So, um, hey, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, like. Hit the like button. Watching the video, hit the like button. Gotta like the like button. But anyway, uh, we'll come back with a pickup video. I'm not sure how the weather's going to be on Monday or Tuesday days. We pick Hurricane Sandy might be in the area, might not. Crazy old people getting crazy about the damn storm. I don't know what these people are all worked up about, but hey. Um, see ya. Peace out.